I made trousers with just rectangles, so I wanted to try making the top with simple shapes as well. And that sounded a bit boring though, so I figured I'd do smocking. I want to get better at starting with samples, so I cut out a piece of quilting cotton and drew a grid. I sewed through the rows at each junction, using just one thread to see if it mattered. I shouldn't have been surprised by how small it got, but I really was. I had a vague concept of how the next bit worked, but after the first row I looked up a tutorial. I used machine thread in a contrasting colour so I could see it better. After 8 hours of sewing, I could cut out the original stitches and yeah, it looks about right. When I was looking at my completed sample, I thought, hey, honeycomb, so that's what I did next. This time I made my grid smaller so the fabric didn't end up quite so thick. I used a load of separate threads for this one, but I'm not convinced it was worth it. They were just too awkward to wrangle. I tried embroidery floss and a thick needle but that was impossible to get through the pleat. And the next needle I got out didn't even have a hole. The first column of stitches were wrong, but I resisted picking them out till I'd done the rest. The result makes my nerd brain happy, but it probably doesn't make all that much of a difference. I probably spent 24 hours making smocking samples this week and I had the idea of finishing the video with a nice big project that I could wear and show off but that might take me months and I'm a one big sewing project at a time sort of girl so this is what you're gonna get <laughs> I bought myself a little quarter scale mannequin that I can screw in properly and show off silly little things and if I suddenly feel the need to make a huge hand beaded ball gown I'd probably be better off making something for her because I don't go outside all that much and don't go to social events. Also if I'm just learning a technique honestly it doesn't matter what scale I'm doing it on I completely just needed an excuse for this, but yeah, let's see if I can make her anything silly. <laughs> <laughs>